Hello boys and girls, Thomas here and today we are back with another video but as you can see quite obviously it's slightly different. So the purpose of this video is to cover that I am a tech nerd. I love tech, I breathe tech, I watch tech, it's stupid. I watch so many like PC builds, PC build tutorials and it's my dream to be able to build something like that. So the purpose of this video, along with showing off that I'm a tech nerd obviously, is I want to talk about my dream phone. What, what would be a perfect phone for me? Firstly, I thought I'd start off with one that's quite obvious and show off my phone. So guys, I'm going to have to apologise for uh, the lighting here as I was actually using the phone's torch for the lighting. So, yeah. So this is my phone at the minute. As I mentioned in one of my other videos, it is a Huawei P8 Lite 2017. It has 3 gigs of RAM and a 1920 by 1080p display. And I said to the guys, I do have the 16 gigabyte model, so it's obviously, I, I do run out of storage a lot, actually at the minute I'm using loads of storage. So obviously I run out, that's why it's really hard for me to record on this and move it across, that's why I switched to this camera. So it's running Android ver version 8, so it's quite up to date, as in like by two versions, which I, which I find good enough. As I already mentioned, the screen is full HD and can watch 1080p video, which I find really helpful when watching YouTube, as I can watch at pretty much the highest resolution. So the processor on this phone, guys, is actually the Kirin 655. Now, it's mainly used in mid-tier or lower-tier smartphones, which is obvious, because this isn't, this isn't like a multi-million dollar phone, is it? It's not expensive, but it works for me, and I'm hoping to upgrade shortly in, like, in September or something. So now we've gone to the good bits of the video, what I actually want my dream smartphone to be like. So firstly, I want it to have a, an amazing camera, like 4K, maybe even 120 frames per second. I know that'll be horrific to edit, like I can't believe how bad that would be to edit. Especially on my HP Pavilion, which I am editing, which I am editing all my videos on the minute with an i3 with integrated graphics. So I manage, but it'd be hard. So now as we're not using my phone anymore, we have lighting. Yes. So obviously, the next thing is I want it to be fo foldable. And I know, not within like five, maybe even ten years, a 4K 120 frames per second camera is ever going to be in a foldable phone. But who cares? It's my dream phone and not what, not what anyone's actually going to be selling at the minute. Because I very much doubt that's ever going to happen. So, as you may have seen recently, the Galaxy uh, Z... It's, it's basically a Z Flip. Everyone, everyone's calling it the Z Flip. Because I'm English, I'm going to call it the Z Flip. It doesn't have a nice flow to it, but it's what I'm going to call it. So the Z Flip at the minute, it has a full-on like screen that's it's really tall. Like, really, really tall. But it can actually just fold in half. So it's a fully working smartphone that can fold in half. Which I just find amazing. Like, imagine just pulling this out of your pocket, walking up. Oh, hi. Hi. Do you have a good phone? Yeah, I do as well. Why? What does yours do? The other guy probably just go, he'd probably die. The next thing I want it to have is 240 hertz refresh rate. <laughs> and it's just making me laugh thinking about it because it's never going to happen. Well, it is going to happen, but not within my lifespan when I'm thinking about phones, okay? It's never going to happen. 240 hertz refresh rate on a phone is never going to happen in like five years, definitely. Ten years, possibly. Especially on a foldable phone. 240 hertz refresh rate. What am I thinking? Now, I've just noticed that great shadow behind me. I apologise for that, but it's there and I don't care. Hello. I'll fix it. Now, what I want it to have, I want it to have a headphone jack, although I'm not, don't really know why I need one, as I have my uh, Galaxy Buds, so I wouldn't really need one. Uh, I want it to have USB-C, because that's just the most great for accessories, fast chargers. It's just an all-round great charging thing. I also want it to be running the latest version of Android, not iOS. Sorry, Apple users, but I just prefer Android. It's more flexible. You can do more stuff on it. It's just, like, got great reputation for doing whatever you want. You can customise it to however you like, which I personally love. My last thing, guys, I want on this phone is a great screen. Like, not it doesn't have to be that big. It can be, like... 5.5 inches I don't really know I don't really care as long as it's about the size of my phone I don't I want I don't want a giant one like you know like uh, the OnePlus 8 Pro like the OnePlus 8 Pro is that what it's called I'm not sure well that is apparently giant it's massive that the iPhone 11 Pro that's huge Samsung Galaxy S20 Pro Ultra 
you know it's just the S20 Ultra like that's massive so that one that's decently sized with at least a resolution of I believe 8k <laughs> I'm laughing because it's never gonna happen ever especially in I don't even think it's ever going to happen in my lifetime, being able to get your phone out and watch 8K video off your phone. Like, there's some monitors that can do 8K video, but most PCs can't even process that. Imagine having a 5-inch phone that could do that. I also want it to be pretty much bez bezel-less, so it's got, like, a screen-to-body ratio of, like, 0.01%. The camera can be in the display, because that's so cool, and I just love that, having the little camera in the display like Samsung Galaxy S10 does, and all that stuff. I also want it to have about two terabytes of storage. Imagine just having two terabytes of storage on a phone. Just being able to have all that on a phone, get all your information that you want. You don't even have to back up, back up most of it to the cloud and pull it from the cloud. It can all be on your phone, two terabytes of storage. Who would not want that? And I honestly, guys, I think this is the last bit. I'll think about some more. But I think the RAM is the last bit. Now, if you don't know what RAM is, it's called Random ac Access Memory. It's basically where all your stuff goes that you're using. So, like, if I'm using Chrome, I search something up, go onto something else, it's stored in that memory, and then I can go back later and use it. If you're not a tech nerd like me. I'd like at least 32 gigs in my phone. Now, my laptop down there, the HP Pavilion, has... 8 gigs of RAM, which is completely usable, I love it, I can use it really well. But 32 gigs of RAM in a phone, which would be so good, you could have so many tabs open at once, so many things running, and it would be amazing. I don't know how I completely forgot about this, but a processor. I'd like a decent CPU, and when I say decent, I mean a really good one, a Snapdragon 895. And I know it's not out yet, okay, I'm not stupid, I know it's not out yet. But when it does come out, and when it's going to be the fastest processor ever, probably, for phones, I want it in this one, and I want it to all go together. So now, I think I've made my dream phone. And guys, if you want me to do another video on my dream tablet, then I'd love to. As behind me here, I have my own tablet, the one that I use on a daily basis. This, guys, if you didn't know, is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. So I use it pretty much every day for stuff on the Xbox, like... Uh, searching stuff up I'd have it propped up with this case because it's just quite nice just propped up like that just look search stuff up and also this case came with a keyboard obviously so that just it just it's magnetic so it just sticks on like that it's all Bluetooth so it's it's just really cool I personally use it loads and if you want me to do my dream tablet video I will maybe if we hit five likes I'll do it and I think, guys, that is the end of the video. So if you have enjoyed, then please do smash that like button. It'll be really much appreciated. If we can get loads of subs and loads of views from this video, I might even be able to buy it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I don't really know why I span. I just quite liked it. Bye!